one of the things I was struck by the most was like when, when I was pulled out our Bibles thing, and he was just like, "Don't tell me you're gonna go evangelize without your Bible." <laughs> and like when I and when I do like evangelism at work, I don't have my Bible with me, so I'm more kind of just rapping off the top of my head. But I never realized that I would struggle to share from the Bible to a non-believer. So that was one of the things I was really challenged by in my efforts to try to show people the scripture. I struggled to navigate it. We got to talk to a lady there. She was saying something. She was talking in French and I was talking in English because she said she understood English. And I said I could understand French more than I could speak it. So I didn't really understand when she was saying things. I sometimes <laughs> did, and then I sometimes didn't, but I'm like, but I think she understood me, so. Yeah, so I got to talk to her, and she's like, she didn't, she didn't really know if there, she's like, yeah, I, I believe in God, but like, it's just kind of like the normal people, like, they heard it, they believe but they don't know, but, and then I do believe in like heaven or hell and like they don't really know, but like they're just kind of, so I just got to tell them, tell her a little bit and I might say we are missionaries up here. And I said about Jesus and he died on the cross and then I said there was life in Jesus and that he told them people to come to him for eternal life. And One thing Tony says like, like in order to get me more comfortable, Doing that stuff, it's like you gotta do it at least weekly. I mean, it's like, well, that's, that's... Sometimes you talk to people and it's a block. But as I was praying, I was praying that there wouldn't be that block. And I know that everyone else is praying too. And... We were praying for you guys on the van ride back. And one of the things we were praying, we were just praying out loud, and one of the things we were, we were praying was for the weather. And just to kind of watch as we drove out of Montreal, to watch the clouds leave, to watch the sun come out. It's more about my ability to adequately pay the gospel and God, like, proper service, you know. I'm scared I'm going to underperform for God, and I don't want to, like, prove myself right. So it's like breaking through that fear and really believing that the Holy Spirit is at work even in my limited ability. You know, you talk and you pray, and I would say, okay, in, in my head, okay, Lord, uh, tell me what to say next. Yeah. Okay, Lord, you know, show me where to go next. Uh, and he was just he was just faithful in seeing people's willingness. You know, as you open the Bible and say, hey, look at what it, look at what it says or something.
I would say the same thing. I was challenged this week to pray boldly between these two weeks. Not just not pray safe prayers or but yeah, I wouldn't have like I wouldn't have prayed for the rain of God two weeks ago, but last night I did.